September 18th after the market closed and uh, we're looking at a chart of S&P 500 and you must be wondering what is this? Well, what I do here is once in a while I bring out our old uh, trusted tool called the Bollinger Bands and today I have put here uh, Bollinger Band EMA, not the simple moving average, it's called EMA. There is a Bollinger Bands simple moving average that you can put it on. But this is a tool which is very useful in telling you how far the market has gone, what it has done, and what to expect and what the market is doing. If you look at this band here carefully, and I'm going to blow this up a little bit here, you could see how badly it is tagging the band. Whenever it starts, the asset starts tagging the band this hard, it usually moves down towards the mean. And that is exactly what the stock market is doing here. The behavior is not a sell-off, it's not a downturn, but it is a movement to the side from this uh, Bollinger Band. It is. It was hitting and tagging the band here hard and the reason it was doing it because it moved up too far too fast and became overbought as well. And uh, it is one more than two standard deviations on this side and this side from the zero here. So I can expect this thing to move down here to 450 also just in a few days. It may continue going down one, two, three. Meanwhile, uh, let's look at some other indexes here. So expect the market to 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 uh, trade in the narrow range and then move down according to this Bollinger Band study. These studies have been very useful in the past and you can see here when it was tagging the band it moved up. It moved to the uh, upside and became in the mean of the band and here it was also it was touching the band and then it moved down here. So it is it is a phenomena it's not a phenomena it's a, it's a given fact of uh, the way these indicators have been developed by John Bollinger and what they provide to the traders. Let's look at one of the other asset, uh, stocks that we use, RUT, the broad market, RUT. And if you look at it here, RUT, uh, I was planning to get a position here, but this is not a position yet, so I'm going to delete it. And uh, you can see what it was doing here is is also tagging the band very hard. So the band is and is repelling, the, repelling it from this tagging phenomena to 5856 and the market moved down here. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial was also up. The market was up here and basically let me try to get back on this thing and remove these things. This is how it looks without the Bollinger Band. So it has changed now. A little bit change in this thing and you can see we have been an uptrending market which is got overbought. The market is extremely overbought here so I expect this thing to come down a little bit so we have some kind of a healthy correction like we had here. I mean, we just moved up here from 810 to 856 in a matter of days, which is phenomenal. But let's look at it, what this has been doing to uh, other stocks. First the stock is Apple. We took profits on that. Apple hit 700 early in the morning, and it's finished the day at 701.95. The volume was low. Yesterday the volumes were very low because the Jewish holiday, Rosh Hashanah, and whenever that happens, the volumes drops off. But the Apple volume did not pick up here also which is kind of a strange and it just went up to 701 and finished the day well, we sold out all this position i think we're going to get back into it uh google that's another one here that we take uh every day and look at it let's load it up and you can see google has now congested pattern here it dropped here from 680 uh, 912 and then it ran up here to 718 which is quite a quite a transformation almost 30 points and the volume was very heavy here today also 2.1 million but we're comparing to the volume on Monday which was nothing and uh, before that the volume was 2.6 so it was a little less volume but you see this trend line that we have here this trend line is holding the stock and also running behind this trend line is the uh, 21 day moving average which is at 690 and the trend line is 700 unless it comes down and breaks this trend line the movement on Google is going to be up and now let's look at some other stuff that is uh, flying around AMZN which is this stock and Amazon is also having a good time it uh, moved back a little bit here to 258 uh, LinkedIn LNKD which is another stock bullish stock it has formed a cup shaped pattern here and it's forming a handle and it's just sitting there at 121.43 very strong here holding it and not moving down uh, another stock Home Depot which we really don't like but we will just cover it here very second 